friends. So today we are going to be reading a book called K Kindergarten. K Here it I C C Come. So this book is about kindergarten. So before we read the book, I want you guys to tell me what you know about kindergarten or what you think kindergarten is like. Kindergarten, Here I Come by DJ Steenberg, illustrated by Mark Chambers. <clears throat> and I also want you guys to tell me, how do you feel about kindergarten? Kindergarten, Here I Come. Kindergarten, Here I Come. I'm checking off the list of everything I need for school. Let's see what I have missed. Glue stick, check. Labeled copy box, check. Extra pair of socks, check. Crayons, check. Mom says I'm all set. But wait, there are tons of other stuff I'd better not forget. My cuddle bear, my magic wand, my superhero cape, flashlights, and a tool set in case I must escape. Huh? Mom says to put those things back where I took them from. She says that I won't need that stuff. She promised school won't be too rough. I hope she's right. I really do, because kindergarten, here I come. All right, so he is getting everything he needs for kindergarten. So what are some things that you think you would need for kindergarten? So he had some crayons and a glue stick. So probably some of the same stuff you use at school now. So go ahead and think about that. Do you think there's anything special you might need to go to kindergarten? My teacher. My teacher did a magic trick. The minute that I came, I don't know how, but presto, presto, somehow she knew my name. Then bam, she figured out I'm nice. And then I'm really smart. And just like that, she seemed to know how good I am at art. I think she used some magic spells to make the whole day fun. Of all the teachers in the world, I'm glad that she's my one. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce, that's the way we sit. Not feet out sauerkraut, not cottage cheese on your knees, not bottoms up coffee cup, not blueberry jelly on your belly, but crisscross applesauce, that's the way we sit. Once upon a time, goblins, bunnies, kings and queens, cats and hats and magic beans. Once upon a far away, which book will we read today? Yellow lunchbox. I love you, yellow lunchbox. Click. I open you to see what treasures lie inside today. And what did mom pack for me? Aha, so there you are. Below those good things I should eat, I found you chocolate cupcakes. You're my favorite part, the treat. Missing two. I was munching on my apple when suddenly crunch. My tongue felt something missing and I had a little hunch. Out came a tiny pebble, all shiny, smooth and white. Hey, look, the tooth fairy's coming to my house tonight. So if you see, it looks like they lost a tooth. Has anybody lost a tooth yet? And if you have, how many teeth have you lost so far? It's always exciting when you lose a tooth. Recess. I'm a fireman to the rescue. Down the pole I slide. Now look, I'm a monkey swinging side to side. I'm a climber up the mountain. Check me out, I'm a bat hanging upside down. Watch me creep across this beam. 
I'm Sneaky Thief Raccoon. I'm the pilot of a rocket ship zooming on the moon. In only half an hour, all these things and more. Still, recess time is over and we head back into the door. Counting craze. There are 22 children here in room 109. A guinea pig, three goldfish, and a cuddle bear mine. There's a really nice teacher with eight buttons on her dress and one billion purple polka dots, more or less. There are 39 crayons that fell out of the box, 53 cars and 87 blocks, 24 food cans and our make-believe stops. Oh, help, I've learned to count. Now I can't stop. No nap crap. I'm not tired, I'm not sleepy, I'm wide awake, you see. It's daytime, it's my playtime. You say nap time, not for me. I lie flat upon the mat, but I'm not counting sheep. You can snooze, but I refuse. Oh no, I will not go to what do you think happened? It looks like he fell asleep to me. This cuddly bear right there. Field trip. Hooray, hooray, a field trip day. Adventures in the air. Driver, driver, please don't stop until you get us there. So look at where they're going for their field trip. Anybody take a guess? Where do you think they are going to go for their field trip? If you look here, I see Z O O. That spells Z Zoo. We squeal and hoot, we screech and roar and stomp the whole way through, just like a bunch of animals until we're at the zoo. So they went to the zoo and they're going to go see some animals. best friend. Heather was my best friend this morning on the bus, but she talked so much to Shauna that I made a best friend Gus. But Gus said he was Noah's friend and wouldn't take it back. So I had to go and trade him for a better best friend back. Zach wouldn't share the box of blocks, so what else could I do? At lunchtime, I sat right down beside my newest best friend, Sue, and still ate half my cupcake. I didn't say she could. In art, I was all by myself. I was done with friends for good. And someone came and asked me, can we paint together? He is not having luck with friends, but it looks like this little girl wants to be his friend. It's always good to be nice to everyone. So on the bus ride home again, my new, new best friend was Heather. He made a new friend, Heather. George. I have a kindergarten friend who isn't very big. I'm talking about George Washington, our classroom guinea pig. I always stop to talk to him about the stuff we like. I tell him up on TV and how to ride a bike. I'm teaching him his ABCs and how to draw a heart. He always pays attention that George is clearly very smart. One hundredth day of school. I brought 100 marbles inside my plastic cup. Zach brought 100 chocolate chips, so someone ate them up. Nina's 100 toothpicks all came inside one box. Aaliyah brought a picture with her 100 chicken pox. I used to think a hundred was a lot when I was small, but now that it's the hundredth day, I am old enough to say 100 is not that many, many days at all. And I have a bag that has a hundred beads in it. So if you look, it doesn't look like a lot, but there's 100 beads in here. Show and tell. 
today's my turn for show and tell. But somehow I forgot I could have brought in Cuddle Bear or else my new robot. I could have brought my snow globe or my cool vacation hat. I could have brought my goldfish, except I didn't think of that. So now my hands are empty and my teacher's calling me, but hang on, I see something staring right in front of me. Quick, I draw two dots on my finger while I sit. Then I make my thumb into a mouth. Hi class, please meet my hand. So they are having show and tell. What's something special that you like to share for show and tell? Line leaders, line up time. It's a race, everybody wants first place, but I go slowly. I don't run, cause I'm the line leader. I was picked the line leader. So make way kids for number one. Growing seeds. We planted seeds in paper cups and put them on the sill. We watered them and watched and watched and watched those cups until What do you think is gonna happen? They're watering a seed. Showing me what happened to my favorite pants, the ones that used to fit. Now they come to my knees when I try to sit. My toes can't wiggle in my shoes the way they used to. I think someone shrunk my clothes. Or could it be I grew? What do you think? Do you think his clothes are shrinking or do you think he's growing? I think he's getting bigger. Last day, I hugged my teacher. Please don't cry. And she said, beg your pardon? I said, we're going to first grade, but you're stuck in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. <laughs>